In this video, I'll be exploring how you can enhance your online privacy and security by integrating PIA VPN with your PFSense firewall or router. By using PIA on PFSense, you can create a secure gateway for all your internet traffic. Instead of relying solely on ISV's gateway for the internet access, you can configure PIA VPN on PFSense that will allow you to establish a dedicated VPN gateway. This means that all your internet traffic can be routed through PIA's secure server, encrypting your data and providing anonymous online access. Whether you are browsing the web, streaming the content, or even accessing the sensitive information, PIA VPN on PFSense ensures that your online activities remain private and protected from hackers and frank eyes. PFSense allows you to configure firewall rules to selectively route traffic through the PIA VPN gateway. This means that you can choose which devices on your network can benefit from the added security and privacy of PIA VPN. Whether you are at home, in the office, or on the go, rest assured that your online activities are shielded from surveillance and cyber threats. I'll guide you step by step how to configure OpenVPN client on PFSense using PIA configuration, and then how you can do the routing and how your devices can get the internet access using the PIA VPN gateway without configuring or without installing the software on end user device. Your devices will be automatically connected when it is configured on PFSense. Here is my local area network and all my devices, be it the set top box of my smart TV or my desktop computers, laptop, or even the Prime TV or even Netflix and then Android devices or the iOS devices which are connected via wireless access point and all of these are connected to the switch and switch is connected to the PFSense LAN port and PFSense is using my internet service providers gateway as the internet gateway and all these devices are passing through PFSense to get the internet access from this particular device. But what if I want to use a VPN as a gateway? Suppose I have the private internet access, all the traffic that goes here from my PFSense to the telecom service provider. Telecom service provider knows what I'm doing on my network, what websites I'm accessing, which services I'm using, all of that is available to them. And not only this, there might be services like, for example, on my Netflix or Prime, I want to access or I want to watch some of the videos which may not be available in the area where I'm living. Private VPN is gonna help me to do that. I want to use the PIA VPN as a gateway. So how it will work right now, PFSense is using the internet service providers gateway. So my PFSense will be working as a client and I'll be connecting to the PIA VPN service. And here I'll be creating a tunnel between a PFSense and the PIA network. And this PIA VPN will be working as a gateway. And I'll be able to assign to any of the devices either this gateway or this gateway, depending upon the needs and requirements. Or even I can use for all the devices, this will become a gateway. For example, if I want the Android device to be connected to this gateway, I can do that with the help of PFSense. So it will be connected via PFSense and the gateway that will be used for this particular Android device will not be internet service providers gateway but it will be this which means that traffic will be routed via tunnel to PIA VPN instead of the telecom service provider. PFSense will be working as a gateway for all the devices but when the traffic will come to PFSense, PFSense will route all the traffic that comes here for the internet instead of routing it to this particular gateway it will route to the private vpn gateway so here is the pfsense right now one gateway is configured of course i can get all these dashboards from here so if i add the widget here so i can add this widget over here so you can see here i have right now one gateway configured here so how you can access this gateway if you click on system if you click on routing you will see that the WAN gateway is already there, which is 192.168.100.1. So 100.1 is the gateway for my WAN IP. WAN is using the IP of 192.168.100.100. .100 .100, 
and its upstream gateway is a WAN gateway which is 192.168.100.1. Router IP is 192.168.100.1. So this is the telecom service provider's gateway and this is how it is connected right now. These devices are connected via PFSense and PFSense is connected to internet gateway provided by the telecom service provider and that is where you are able to see this right now. And if I go to VPN and open VPN, you can see there is no client configured here. So we'll be using private internet access as the server and PFSense will be working as a client and then we'll be configuring the gateway inside the router. So you will have another gateway here which will be the VPN gateway and then we'll be able to bypass the traffic instead of this gateway we'll be using the private VPN gateway. We need to do few settings here and I'll be guiding you step by step 